I guess I was lit, huh? <laughs> like Mardi Gras. Go get yourself something to wear, and I'll tell you where to go next. Oh, and you'll need your phone ready for operations, so hit the store and download your apps before you get here. Damn, walk of shame on my first day. Hey, uh, you can change in the back. Have a good one. What? All right, Sitar, so where you at? Sending you the location and the passcode for the door.
Yo, you interested in taking a turn? We need one more person to play. It's one of those new German games. Yeah? Shit, that's Free Road. It won a Golden Ace. I'd love to, but I'm kind of running late. Eh, fair enough. I can't believe my hand slipped. It must have been an earthquake. There's no other way I'd have messed up like that. I had to completely strip the paint off and then start from scratch. Ugh, it sucked. But I gotta say, my miniature army is going to look amazing. So, I rolled a 12 and just barely made a hit, but it was enough. My paladin was down to one life before I was able to heal everyone with a prayer for divine intervention to my deity, Arneson. Hi. Go away. Cozy, huh? Yo! Finally. So Josh and I spoke, and fucking over Bloom has been a long-standing project. All right, you need two things to take down Bloom. You need to get people to rally behind your cause and separate you from the trolls. And we need bots, and a lot of them to handle the data CTOS is processing. Thank you, Josh. We spent all night modifying our app so you can get followers to download the app, and we can use their processing power for the cause. Well, this is happening? It's really happening? Mm -hmm. yeah, man, this is happening. You better get to it. <laughs> Hell yeah, man! Barbarians are at the gate, ready to bust some Roman heads. Yeah, we're gonna focus on some high-profile ops, playing for exposure and laughs to get people to download our app. Mm -hmm. All right. Don't worry. So that was something fun. <laughs> Marcus! <laughs> Check you out. Alive and dry. I wasn't sure after your moonlight swim. Come here. You've got to check this out. Behold. Our very own open source research app. So, like, all of us here pool vulnerabilities that we find, and we encourage everyone to share their work, their research, etc. Okay, so what's the research app do? Widen our skill set? Make us irresistible to the gender of our choice? What, so it's like a I know kung fu kind of deal? If kung fu was a gender and not so 1999, absolutely. Behold, the wonders of technology. A 3D printer? This is the army of printers. It is capable of pumping out an arsenal of little weapons down. Seriously? Yep. Once you master it, voila! Hipster merchant of death. All good, except I'm no hipster. <laughs> you keep telling yourself that. Now try to make something. But don't blow us up. DeadSec found Josh, hot sauce, posting anti-CTOS videos on invite. Kid had a plastic Halloween mask over his face, a skull. But like the worst dollar store skull you could find? You could see his eyes through it, big no-no when it comes to avoiding a profiler. He had a distorted voice, but he didn't change his speech patterns. See, Josh, he's high-functioning autistic, which means he's got a very specific way of talking. Sitara found him easily, but he wasn't at all what we expected. When you get down to pure coding, Josh operates on a higher level than the rest of us. We got to look at a CTOS profile and all kinds of nasty flags popped up. Emotionally challenged, unstable, even a low mental maturity score. He's none of those things, and he quickly became the activist soul of our group. 
He has a black and white way of seeing things, fair and unfair, which means he can be refreshing and often hilarious. We caught a glimpse of the damage CTOS dealt him. Rejected care programs, cut funding, overcharges. We offered to help him make things right. When we met Josh, he had the right intentions and the wrong approach, like a laser putting on a pretty light show instead of burning holes. If Bloom's system wants to make him unemployable, damn straight we're gonna snatch him up and point him right back at him. ZSEC found Josh, hot sauce, posting anti-CTOS videos on invite. Kid had a plastic Halloween mask over his face, a skull, but like the worst dollar store skull you could find. You can see his eyes through... So what do you do around here for fun? What do you mean? This is fun. Yeah, but outside this place. No. Right. Uh, nice talk, Josh. Good to have another brother here. Hey, good to be here, man. Are you all hackers? Yeah, kind of a basic requirement to get invited into the hacker space. But we all have our specialties, like Josh over there. Always building shit that shouldn't work. Now he's trying to build this big ass drone. And Wrench? Good engineer too, but better at breaking shit apart. And yo, Satara? <laughs> Sis got skills as an artist and a graphic designer. Without her, dead sex walking around without a face or voice. What about you? What's your superpower? Tactical coordinator or cat herder. Take your pick. I make dead set go where it has the most impact. You heard of Prime 8? Those are some real dirty hacking motherfuckers. Yeah, I've brushed up against them before. It wasn't pleasant. All right, that's what I like to hear. Link up with me when you're ready to do this, and I'll fill you in. There's always someone running ops against Prime 8. Bet they'd love your help. It's something, right? 
This whole place is something. We used to keep track of news feeds on here, but now it's our follower wall. So it knows if we're trending? No, no, no. It's based on hard values. How many people downloaded our app, how much processing power we have access to. You know. <laughs> nice. And speaking of which, we're downloading the DeadSec app into your phone as we speak. When it's ready, open it up, click the suggested op, and hit the park outside so we can test it. Sounds good. One more thing. I put a reminder on your phone so you remember what we're gunning for. Get enough processing power to take down Bloom. is accusing Oakland City Councilor Miranda Kamei of defamation. In a recent interview, the councilor had described the organization as, quote, a fraudulent pyramid scheme. The organization seems to have fought back with more than just lawyers. The councilor's private life was recently revealed when medical records of the councilor's transgender treatments were mysteriously released to the media. A spokesperson for New Dawn said that the organization had nothing to do with the leaked medical records and in her statement accused Councillor Kamei of desperately seeking attention. So we've been looking at this new guy, calls himself Retro. Now I like his style, spent some time in Oakland. In fact, that's where he earned some of his hacker cred. I read everything I could about it when it was going down. The Home Domain Center had to deal with Homeland Security. They rolled out cameras in Oakland and started stockpiling data on everybody. Somehow, Retro got targeted by the thing and profiled him based on his computer skills and marked him as a prime suspect in the local high-tech robbery. The evidence was all digital. Nothing put him at the scene of the crime. And the case <laughs> was a shit show, full of quotes from people who didn't know anything about technology, lies everywhere, false flags and fear-mongering. <laughs> they weren't about to admit to a... on their system. Retro got lucky. You got a judge that decided not to throw the, the apps downloaded and I'm in the park. What am I testing? Start profiling things around you. People, devices. See what you can pull from them. That's what helps us figure out our next ops. And running ops that are important to people is how we get them interested in DedSec. The more followers download our app, the more intel we get. It's the circle of life. Oh, and see if you can find some components to help us with our research. Hipster Merchant! The app is your data mining tool. Of death! Okay, okay, I got this. So what now? Up to you, man. You're free to do whatever catches your eye. We post ops to the DeadSec app, and doing them helps us get followers. And followers are our Skrilla. Followers mean computers, which boosts our processing power, which lets us do bigger and better ops. Yeah. Oh! Hey, so what's this about Bobo Dakes? You know Bobo's working on a new album, right? Yeah, I heard. Well, you won't get to hear it? Motherfucker Gene Carcaney just put millions on the table to keep it all to himself. What does a big pharma CEO want with a rap album? Dude has a huge Bobo collection. And he probably wants to hang that shit on his wall like a damn trophy. He's just rubbing his money in our faces, bruh. Do you know if Bobo took the deal? He hasn't announced anything yet, but he will. It's a lot of cash. Maybe there's still time for an intervention. Time for what? I assume you guys have heard of Gene Carcani? He's the shit sack who's on TV laughing about how he's raising the price of leukemia medicine. Yeah, the most hated man in America? Yeah, why do you ask? Guy's a huge Bobo Dakes fan. 
must have read Bobo's in town recording new tracks because he's offering millions to keep the album to himself. So stupid. Bobo will never go for it. The real one won't. So we're gonna do it for him. I'm gonna visit Bobo and see if I can borrow some of his new tracks as proof that we're legit. How do we contact Karkani? I need you guys to run through interviews, podcasts, whatever. Find me some usable lines. We're gonna make a soundboard. Ooh, I love this. Coming up after the break, we'll be sitting down with a former street artist. Sweet T, as he's known in the community, is here to promote a new book of his art and a brand new fashion line, including t-shirts, caps, and bling. Very exciting stuff. There's a lot of crazy shit beneath the surface. You know that or you wouldn't be here, right? You could say that. Well, having you here, getting followers to download our app, going public with all this, it'll be good to start seeing what the hell's going on. seen the trailer for the new Jimmy Siska movie? No, it's out. Hey, hey, pull it up, no, man. No, no, not on this. For this, we need perfect sound. We need a big screen. We need to be comfy. You're right. We need quiet. Have you seen it yet? No, man. I waited for you. You're the best. Thank you. All right, everybody, we're going to watch the trailer. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. In a world where technology connects everything. I'm not working for justice, goddammit. One man prowls the information superhighway in search of cyber justice. I'm looking for cyber justice. Simple line of code could devastate the whole world. It's gonna be a cyber caster. Cyber Driver. Hit him with the code for a chip. Jimmy Siska is Got no choice, kiddies. Follow me, or die. Devon Von Devon. We gotta get these hackers somewhere safe. They aren't hackers, Devon. They're just script kiddies. Hey, the car answered. This ain't your mama's smart car. I think next time we're gonna need a higher firewall, pal. Cyber, Cyber Driver. Action hero, badass. Talking car, admit it, Josh. The car is cool. You know what I'm thinking? We cut our own version of that trailer. And that car is gonna help us do it. Real? Would not have us a ton of followers. Yo, first, Josh and I will go to the studio to get that script. We'll look around and see what other gems they have about death sec, and we'll look for the car. All right, so what's the deal here? Are we, are we issuing an advisory? No, why would we do that? They'll just patch the holes. No, oh, let them. Don't worry, cyber child. Oh, don't. Hacker movie's gonna get hacked. HMP Studios, we are holding you solely responsible for the threat that is cyber driver. Cheesy stunts and bad dialogue, we can take. But you've insulted our intelligence, and that we can't excuse. It seems like you could do with a lesson on what hackers are capable of. And since you didn't come to us to learn, 
Welcome to your teach. We are launching Operation Hack and Run. We'll show you what hackers can do. We are dead set. Yo! Come to see the magic happen? I'll let you watch while I do my thing. If you wanted magic, maybe you should be watching me work. Ho ho! Did Luke ride on Yoda's back? I think not. I was always more of a Lando man myself. Owned the Millennium Falcon, ran Cloud City, blew up the second Death Star. Killer mustache. Killer mustache. I'm more of a chewy guy myself. Rips off arms, handy with a hydro spanner, more hair than an 80s Greek porno. <laughs> I can see that. Do you want to? I still have some old tapes. Uh, I'm good. What do you think? Skynet or zombie apocalypse? What? What's finally going to take the human race out? Between CTOS and all the tech giants, we nearly have Skynet. Just a matter of time. And the zombie apocalypse? Plague, pestilence, nanomachines looking for organic fuel. Again, matter of time. If we go with rampant nanomachine zombies, isn't that getting close to Skynet? It all clicks now, doesn't it? It's gonna be a tag team. Shit. Marcus, this right here is the start of bigger things for us. DedSec is going to spin that movie script right back at them. The exposure for DedSec is going to be huge. It sure is. You picked the perfect time to join us. It's not often we do ops this wild. And maybe it's a sign of things to come. People still seem shocked by in-home surveillance. It's been happening for years. Maybe, but there's a difference between worrying about it and finding out it's worse than you feared. It's always worse than you feared. So they need to either accept it or modify all their electronic devices to stop reporting back what they see. I don't think most people know how to do that. We can teach them. Let's teach them. I'll set up a wiki, starting with home. Wrench. <laughs> Man, what to say about this guy? Some freaky shit going on right there. I'd like to say he's actually a sensitive, charming guy beneath the harsh exterior. But I'm pretty sure he's a fucked up motherfucker all the way through. I don't even know who first recruited him. He just started showing up at local hacker spaces and building his tools of destruction. At first, I thought he was trying too hard. Like he was a FBI plant or something. But no agent is going to pull the kind of suicidal stunts this guy does. I think the truth is, Wrench doesn't care if he dies. But he's not going quietly. Even so, I'm glad we've got the Wrench on our, our side. One of the group's biggest problems is lack of GSD. Getting shit done. The Wrench is pure GSD. And he brings his own sledgehammer. He's not some dumb thug either. I've seen some of his code. He's legit. Probably why he's interested in DedSec and not some street gang. You know what? I take that back. He might actually belong to a street gang. Who knows? One thing I do know about Wrench, the man hates Bloom. I mean, hates them. I can't get the why from him. It's obvious he wears the mask to avoid facial recognition, but what's he hiding from? He's not safe. So the Von Devon dude is a race car driver who's friend. This movie makes total sense. Yeah, I'm all in. The original Chicago dead sec has
So I rolled a 12 and just barely made a hit, but it was enough. My paladin was down to one life before I was able to heal everyone with a prayer for divine intervention to my deity, Arneson. You guys thought that movie was gonna be good? <laughs> well, yeah, sure. They're fun to laugh at. Cool, you said. Uh, did I actually say cool? Here's what we know, Josh. Cyber Driver is shaped up to be a million dollar cyber catastrophe. I know you're trying to get my goats with that word. Uh, I don't want that, man. Keep your goats. Why would Galilee allow their name to be sullied? You mean cyberized? You can keep trying, but it will never be funny to me. I'm not gonna lie. If those scenes were what they chose for the trailer, yeah, the rest of it's gonna be jack shit. And why they chose to target DeadSec is curious. Well, Chicago was a big deal. True. Anyway, don't worry. You and me are prowling the information highway to seek out our own cyber justice. Look, Josh, we're gonna have fun with this. And I promise I won't say cyber anymore. You know, after this, the cyber world will never be the same. <laughs> And there it is, Hook Motion Picture Studios.
Damn! Hey! Hey, you! <laughs> Here we go. Nice! The not-so-secret emails. I found it. We got the full script of Cyberdriver. What about the car? I don't think it's on site. We'll find it. I'm heading out now. Um, sorry. Hey guys, I found an email that says the car is being delivered to a location, but doesn't say where or when. That's okay. I think I have a backup plan. How can people keep buying this new Dawn bullshit? It's obviously a money-making scheme disguised as a New Age church. These things usually target the uneducated and the elderly. But I'm seeing intelligent, well-spoken celebrities flock to it. What is going on? And how do I get in on the profit? I don't believe it! Are you kidding me? Oh. Is everything going to break down today? <laughs> Marcus, I have a paparazzi contact who knows where the car is. He's waiting for you. We'll give him whatever he asks for out of that email dump. He's good for it. Sure. You have a paparazzi contact? <laughs> is there anyone you don't know? That's me. Social butterfly. actually giving us access to their computers. All of them, that's the point. They give us access to their power, they grow a network of computers that makes us stronger, our own giant cloud computing network. So do people sign a contract? I vow to let DedSec own my processor? We're transparent. They know before they ever install the app that they're giving us access to their computing power, but never their personal info. That's a lot of trust. Silicon Valley would kill to have that level of intrusion. Private data farming runs their whole economy. Yeah, but we look out for our own, man. That's why people are joining our movement. To make a statement against the technocrats. I feel like a junk gets wasted in someone's house. If you want deets on where the car is at, better have something juicy for me. Like Jimmy Siska and pop star Nelly Shire?
They are banging. I knew it. See, okay, now we're talking. Consider it sent. <laughs> Hella cool. Coolosity. All right. I sent you the GPS of the car's route. myself, motherfucker. Wrench, you hear this? The car is talking. I'm proud. Tell your senses to calibrate that. I have no reference for black. No, of course you don't. Patrol call has been dispatched after the suspect. Keep your hands and feet inside the tornado at all times. Hang on to your innards, Devin. Together, we will carve up the streets. Okay. Wait. Did you just say a line from the movie? Wrench, you hearing this? I am one nitrous jet smart car. Oh, wait, did, did you just say the car quoted the movie? Yeah. <laughs> that is so meta.
garage. I'm clear. Meet you at the garage. On my way. I am Devin Von Devin, and I am... You are not Devin. Devin Von Devin is handsome and swarthy. <laughs> you are not. Oh, come on. I'm sure as hell swarthier than any dude named Von Devin. Damn, Silicon Valley couldn't hire one brother? My Galilei creators think of everything. Yeah, maybe not everything. Oh man, this car, this car is something else. Yeah, well, kudos to Galilee for getting the studio to pay for this lemon. Lemon? Did you hear it? And never mind voice recognition. I mean, sure, it needs a smack of sided scripting, but it had cogent responses. Do you know how much work had to go into that? Uh, Galilee has been talking about machine learning for their Mars probe, but man, I didn't expect it to be as advanced as it. Oh, man. I know it! <laughs> I do not approve of you driving me, Marcus. You're not as swarthy as Devin Von Devon. I knew it had too much smart ass to be smart. Wow! Shiny and new. So it wasn't responding at all? Well, does, um... Does, does that count? Yeah, fuck you, man. Fuck you. <laughs> The car's designed for autonomous control, but nothing's there or even calibrated. It's capable, but suboptimal, not junk. See? That's what I'm talking about. Think positive. It's just stupid. So that's the plan? Fix a smart car the space company couldn't? Problem? No, we got this. Hmm. Guys, my phone just got infected. Uh, impossible. We put Josh levels of security on it. It's definitely possible. Says it's the Zombie 2 virus. You do know who made the first zombie worm, right? Haddock. Yep. Who is Haddock? Bay Area legend. This guy was exposing government deals with defense contractors while we were still in school. Haddock's been off the map for a decade, but if he's back, I mean... Wow. What's the virus doing? Looks like it was first installed through a spoof CTOS mobile update. I can see some of the phones it infected before mine. If I track them back, maybe I can find the source. Let's see if we can figure out Haddock's game here. Can you isolate the worm on a virtual machine? I would love to. Send it over.
Au! Got another zombie bite. Nice. I'm starting to understand part of its process. It's trying hard to spread through infected access points. Why? I don't know yet. It's definitely Haddock, though. This is organized a lot like the first zombie code, even though the systems are totally different. Damn. What is he up to? I'll keep looking. Josh, I found another zombie-infested phone. Does it have CTOS mobile on it? Yep. Recent update, too. This isn't... Infuriating. I can't figure out what it's trying to do. I'll stay on the trail. This should come in handy. Hey, Marcus, me wrench in the garage when you're ready. Will do. Yo, I'm listening. We've got a lost monkey near you with all this confidential data that needs liberating. Your profiler will help you ID said primate, but they won't stick around long. I'll check it out. So how goes the monkey business? They won't stick around, you know. Yes, thank you. I got this. Hackers love a challenge. Guys, let's fire it up. Oh! 
Yeah, let's do this. Started out as just a trickle, then boom. The numbers haven't stopped climbing. This was a good target. Yeah, but was it? You don't think? No, I mean, of course, look at the numbers, but I don't know, there's, I mean, what are we gonna do? You know, for real. Aim bigger. Hell yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Are you watching? <laughs> no. It's like sadtube.com. A channel for sad people, am I right? <laughs> you ask them. Come on. Look at them. 
They've got their own goddamn branding. I've been following them since they accessed our server network. Jesus Christ, don't yell in my fucking ear. Use your inside voice, will ya? Anyways, it's all done other than the handshake. We're working with the human Izulu in case it gets to the collateral damage part of the relationship. They'll be discreet. Marcus, those nude on parasites got our recruitment video killed. Can you believe it? Oh, I believe it. Jimmy Siska's greatest fits? <sighs> Say it ain't so. What are we gonna do about it? Come by the hackerspace when you have a minute, and we'll figure out the best way to pay them back. Hi. Right. I'm gonna like it. I'm gonna say 30 to 1 odds against. Then I guess I better get it out the way. See you soon. Marcus, have you looked at our follower count lately? Yeah, we're making waves. We've got to make people see Bloom for what it is, Marcus. The longer it takes, the more they rely on CTOS. They'll get used to things the way they are, and then DeadSec becomes a conspiracy theory fringe. It won't matter if what we're saying is true, if people don't want it to be. Yeah, but this is just the start. When we show them the shit that's brewing behind Bloom's door... Nudon wants to step into the ring with us. They got our recruitment video killed on all the big social media sites and threatened to sue anyone who hosts it. This is gonna cost us a lot of followers. DMCA takedown, annoying. This is worse than annoying. This is a declaration of war. I will not be censored. Hey, Nudon's a fucking scam. With rich people throwing away their money for some elitist circle jerk shit. This could be big for us. I mean, nobody's gonna take the side of those assholes unless they're already members. We are so gonna cornhole this fake-ass church. What's cornhole? Where the corn goes after you eat the corn, Josh. Oh. They don't like us using footage of their celebrity whore, Jimmy Siska. So let's start with him. He's our highest profile spokesperson. But it's, it's Jimmy Siska, I mean, when I was a kid, I had the Siska glasses, the pop collar. I, I even knew every line to open wounds. Dude, me too. I even have the lunchbox. Nice. Mint condition. Nice. Just not, not Siska. Okay, just anyone but him. There's, Please. there's got to be another way. All right. I don't. He's in town shooting Cyber Driver. I was just thinking maybe we could talk to him. Fuck up his relationship with New Dawn. He can go back to being less of a douchebag. Then I could go back to wearing my Siska tees without feeling like one. Wait a minute. You use cornhole as a verb. That doesn't even make sense in the context if you... Okay, okay, we focus on Siska. <laughs> New Dawn keeps blackmail records of their celebrity shills, right? We check out the local center. We just need to get in and dig up his file. Everybody in? In. 
I'll round up the locals and I'll meet you there. Let the cornholing begin. <laughs> you heard the man. <laughs> Cornhole. <laughs> For too long, predators have victimized the weak and the wounded under the guise of religion. The Church of the New Dawn is a scam. scam. Ranking the church is based on financial contribution. Loyalty is bought through blackmail and fear. They believe they are untouchable. That will soon change. DeathSec will reveal the secrets and true purpose of New Dawn. You can help. Take up a mask and protest your local recruitment center. Let their leaders know what you think of them online. Join us as we send them a message. No more. DeathSec will give you the truth. Do what you will. Man, Sitara hates it when I fuck with Josh, but he makes it too easy sometimes. <laughs> I told him that New Dawn was looking to brainwash socially awkward hackers into their secret army. A mindless drone army to overthrow the government. It's got him all freaked out. That's cold. Yeah, yeah, I know, but you should have seen his face. <laughs> I wouldn't do it if you didn't make it so rewarding. Okay, I'll tell him I made it up. Promise. How's it going? Okay, I guess. I've been thinking about New Dawn. They actually brainwash people. That's a fact. That worries me. Why? Because that's programming. That's rewriting over old data. That means you lose who you were. I don't like the idea that my brain has vulnerabilities waiting to be exploited. We all been brainwashed. For several decades, anyway. You'll be fine. How... How would you even know? Josh, man, trust me. Don't worry about it. Ratio. Know anything about New Dawn? We protested them back in Chicago. We were just trolling. Dead sec masks and signs, making a lot of noise, but nothing too bad. They sent out this little Colonel Sanders looking motherfucker to break us up. Said we were on private property and he was gonna bring out the dogs if we wouldn't leave. Did you call his bluff? Yup, but then he brought out the dogs. Bunch of pit bulls. We got the fuck out of there. Never ran so fast in my life. But fuck that. <laughs> yup. Fuck that. I've been digging a bit deeper into the studio's data sharing deal with Bloom, and the thing is, the studio let them have some of the user data, but Bloom's accessing more of it without the studio's knowledge. And the studio hasn't noticed? No, because the studio's use- Josh must be right. Bloom's using it to improve their facial recognition with emotion mapping. Combine that with profiler data? What have they got? Some scary predictive algo in the works. That's the way I see it, too. I can't believe my hand slipped. It must have been an earthquake. There's no other way I'd have messed up like that. I had to completely strip the paint off and then start from scratch. Ugh, it sucked. But I gotta say, my miniature army is going to look amazing. What?
I give up. I'm just going to give up. What's wrong? I'm a student at Oakland Advanced Tech. We entered Noodle's e-card challenge, and we just keep losing. We can't seem to beat the fancy schools, especially Stanford. They're backed by big companies with all kinds of tech. We're just Oakland. It's hopeless. Hey, Oakland's got energy and grit. Oakland can get it done, man. I'm from Oakland. I like the way you think. You want to be our driver? You kidding? Somebody has to. Count me in. My name's Marcus. Good to meet you, Marcus. I'm Taylor. Good luck on the first race. Got it. If you get yourself a decent battery, it would help a lot getting off the block. Yeah, makes sense. I'll see if I can find you one. Can you imagine how awesome it is to do the e-cart races on Fury Track? It's got to be amazing. Just the adrenaline. The went off. Oh! I already got plenty of. confidential emails has had unexpected consequences for HMP Studios. Contents of the documents expose an ongoing contentious collaboration with Galilei, 
the company responsible for the expensive high-tech car featured in the studio's latest blockbuster, CyberDriver. The emails reveal that a studio executive referred to the car as a useless lemon and threatened legal action against the space company. There was good news for HMP Studios, however. Following the hack, interest around the movie spiked, making CyberDriver the surprise hit of the year. Police say that the studio has yet to press charges against the hacker group. We'll keep you posted. Hey, what's that? Something's acting up. They reek of money so much, you can see the dollar signs float off them. We're all set. I got the battery. You're kidding. Bring it on by. Maybe it'll do some good. Get this. My fault. Oh. What? Hey, Taylor, here's the battery. In the nick of time. We'll install it while you get ready to drive. Here we go. Try, Marcus. I guess we just don't have what it takes mechanics-wise. 
We'll get creamed in the championships. Actually, if we could jack up the car's processor, we could improve its performance. Let me go see if I can find you a velocity check. Got the velocity chip. Oh yeah. Can't wait to hook it up. Welcome to the Fertile Campus. Would you allow me to sketch? This race is for all the marbles, Marcus. Let me add them. It's a one. Here goes. my friend. I told you Oakland could get it done. You were more than right, Marcus. It's been a pleasure racing with you. So long, Taylor.
You just think that because you get to be the boss. Strapping enough for you? You gonna go inside and take a peek, or? Oh, yeah. Oh, and I wore my church clothes. Nice. Buy enlightenment! It only costs your life savings! All right, I'm heading in. I'll dig up what I can on Siska. We're about to go to battle with these fuckers. I need anything shady you can find. If we want to pick up followers, we need to generate some serious outrage. Can't we just make something up? If we get caught lying, everything else DeadSec ever claimed will be called a lie. Don't worry. If they've shit the bed, I'll find the dirty sheets. And in comes Marcus with the classy metaphor. <laughs> I aim to please. Punk ass.
Watch out for their patrols. They fake like it's... Guys, I think we can use Siska as an ally. The man's in big trouble with the church. They're even planning an emergency audit. Audit? They're after his money. Of course they are. But this is something different. They wire themselves up to these bullshit electronic doohickeys and play psychiatrists with each other. It's cute. Siska's waiting for the auditor to show, but he's gonna get me instead. Are you serious? You're gonna wing it. So gonna wing it. First, I have to delay the real auditor. He's gonna get a call from Jimmy Siska. Yes, guys, you have to hear his Jimmy Siska impression. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I don't have time now. I'll be in touch. What's happening? Hello? Jason, I heard you're coming for an audit today. Jimmy, right, right. I was just about to leave. How's it going? Not good. I think I ate one too many empanadas, my friend. My stomach is way too... Unstable for a session, if you catch my drift. Yeah, uh, yeah, I get you. Violent, violent diarrhea. Yes, I understand. Can we reschedule? Yeah, we're gonna have to. I took a handful of chewables. I'll give you a call back soon, I promise. We good? We're cool. You take care of yourself, Jimmy. Working on it. We've got some amazing specials. Not today, huh? Okay. These are back there. They go up front for two shows. They have dancers performing all night in the back space. They've got a new bunch of girls in. Oh, no, these ones are it's really okay. Uh, no, it's okay. So never mind sleeping. What about that? Got a grand opening special. I told him to yeah. call them back. He said no. So I said yeah. I will. I will, too. Uh -huh. Dead soon. Hey, Retro, what's up? Just killing time. You? I was hoping to catch my cousin here, but he didn't show. I think we might have something for dead sec. Oh yeah? I'm listening. He buys his weed from the Auntie Shoes. Has for years. So he's gotten close to a couple of them. He heard them talking about a deal with the Bratvas to move product. Yeah, I don't think dead sex has got a horse in that race. He doesn't think it's drugs this time. They're moving people. Okay, that changes things. Where can I dig into this? I'll send you a location where the shoes hang out. Somebody there will know more. Dad, I'm getting a soda. Hey, you... Nope, no shoes. Cool. I just learned about some kind of gangster swap me. Shoes and Bratva. Why do you want to anger two different homicidal crime groups at the same time? Because everybody loves a vigilante. Actually, public opinion is pretty mixed on them. Not for dead sex target audience. We keep making trouble for the indisputable bad guys. We gain followers. It's easy math. Your math is sound there. I'm gonna pay the shoes a visit and see what I can find out. I don't know what you're missing, though. Marcus, the followers just keep on coming. <laughs> That's gonna get a reaction from Bloom. I can't believe people let them grab so much power. All that sci-fi shit we read as kids, Big Brother, Dark Control, Pre-Crime, it's all here now, isn't it? Thanks to Bloom and SCTOS. Those authors saw it coming decades ago, but nobody listened. Everybody's too sold on pleasant corporate platitudes and flawless branding to realize the whole damn thing. It doesn't help that CTOS actually does what they say it does either. We're opposing a system that helps people on the surface, but exploits them behind the scenes. Makes it easy to paint us as the bad guys. Question for you. How much access does DedSec have to CTOS? In other cities, when it was still CTOS 1.0, we had a lot. Sucks because we were too careless. Missed our window to do something big. In 2.0, we're the first group to go up against it, so we're still playing catch-up. They were expecting us this time. <laughs> the thought of dead sec written on a whiteboard in some Bloom office makes me all squishy inside. We keep it up. Next time, maybe they'll use the red marker. Hey, Ghoul, what's up? I managed to snatch some new Dawn clothes for you. Gotta look the part, right? Night. No worries. Give them hell.
Yes? Hi, I'm Jason Lowell. Huh. <laughs> I'm here for your audit. Okay, Jason Lowell. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you're the best. Come on in. Thank you for the hospitality. Please. All right, uh, let's get started, huh? Yeah, my sources tell me that you've been having some doubts about the church. I want you to tell me about that. <laughs> doubts? Well, doubts is a, it's a strong word. I'm not as inspired as I used to be. Uh, Jimmy, Jimmy, step up. Don't hide things from us. <sighs> You're right. Okay. Okay, there are rumors about this place where they take church members who are having issues, and they don't come back for a really long time, if they come back at all. I've heard these rumors, and guess what? They're just rumors. <laughs> but that's it? I'm not in trouble? For telling the truth? No. Thank you. I, I, I promise you will not regret this. Yeah, look, well, look, one last thing. I really need to get to the heart of this rumor, so do they say where this imaginary camp might be? I don't know. I don't know. I hope I never find out. Well, does it have a name? Ah, the, the, the Red Room. They called it the Red Room. Oh, yeah, man. And one last thing, man. Like, your last five movies have been just disappointing as shit, so act better. All right, keep your chin up. Peace! All right, I have a new lead on how we can burn New Dawn, but I'm missing a key piece. Jimmy Siska is afraid of something called the Red Room. Jimmy Siska in the Red Room. The Red Room seems to be some kind of rehab center where they send problematic church members. People who go there, sometimes they stay gone. If they're kidnapping people, this is potentially huge for us. This goes beyond my resources. Want me to reach out? Nah, I got this. Damn. Miranda speaking. Hi, it's me, Marcus. Marcus? All the way? How did you get my number? Right, I forgot. I need something. It's about New Dawn. Have you ever heard of the Red Room, Miranda? Texting you an address. Meet me there. I just need info. Uh -huh. 